Summer is coming to an end in Norway in Northern Europe. And the butterfly, Vanessa Cardui, also known as the Painted Lady, has finally made it to an adult. From egg to caterpillar to chrysalis, it's now reached the final chapter of its life story. The butterfly has orange and black wings with a few white spots and it is feisty. Vanessa, as we'll call our hero, is not destined to be alone. She's emerged alongside many other butterflies, all of the same species. When the sun is shining, she feeds on the nectar of flowers to build up her energy reserves, because soon she has to start on a long, long journey. As the autumn chill begins to take hold in Europe, the butterflies respond to a powerful instinct to migrate. Their first flights are just for training purposes, uh, like an athlete getting ready for a marathon. Winds from the north are the trigger. Vanessa flies up to 1,000 meters and begins a long journey south. She soars across the north of Europe and now confronts the mighty Alps. Despite being tiny, little more than five centimeters across, Vanessa is able to withstand temperatures close to zero degrees Celsius as she flies over alpine glaciers. After about three or four days, she arrives at Barcelona, Spain, where mild temperatures prompt her to stop, to recharge her batteries, and to get nice and warm. And who knows, she may even visit her friends at the Butterfly Diversity and Evolution Lab, led by Roger Villa at Barcelona's Institute of Evolutionary Biology. But autumn is arriving here too. Once more, the urge to head south is irresistible and she encounters her next major obstacle, the Mediterranean, nearly 400 miles of open water. Vanessa heads on, a single non-stop flight across the featureless ocean. Here her internal compass is crucial, keeping her heading south. Winds are critical in this phase of the journey, so Vanessa waits for the ideal gust of wind, just as a surfer waits for the perfect wave. It's tough going. She can't stop to rest, and shifts in wind direction can mess things up entirely. But with a fair wind blowing her south, Vanessa and her friends can fly at speeds up to 30 miles per hour. And finally, the end is in sight. Land! Africa. And there are the daunting empty sands of the Sahara Desert. But fortunately, Vanessa finds an oasis where she can stop to rest. It's been a long journey. Her wings no longer gleam like they did at the beginning. And little by little, her strength is beginning to fail. But it's no time to relax. There are predators on the prowl. In fact, many of her companions will not complete their journey. Vanessa has come from the chill of Europe to the heat of Africa. Temperatures can exceed 40 degrees Celsius and food is scarce. Time to move on once more, this time across the vastness of the Sahara. Here, Vanessa's navigational skills are once again critical. Getting lost here would be a death sentence. To work out how painted ladies navigate, scientists use flight simulators and they study the reactions of butterflies to stimuli like the position of the sun, magnetism, or temperature. Just one week has passed since Vanessa left Norway, and now, after more than 2,500 miles, the butterflies reach their destination, the tropical African savanna. Here, just after the rainy season, the landscape is green and fertile, with plenty of flowers and lions. In fact, this is pretty much butterfly paradise, the perfect place to breed. The search for a mate often begins at the tops of hills, where males fight each other to gain pole position in the sexual competition stakes. Once they've mated, the females lay more than a hundred eggs on the very plants that the caterpillars will feed on. But this is the story of the next generation of painted ladies. Vanessa, our hero, has already traversed two continents. Thanks 
to data collected in the field and the use of sophisticated lab techniques to study butterfly genetics and the chemistry of their wings, researchers have shown clearly that our Vanessa was born more than 2,500 miles away from where she is now breeding. This is why this species is so special. It's only a delicate insect, but it migrates as far as some birds. And because it travels so much and so far, this species is found almost everywhere. Vanessa truly is a cosmopolitan world traveler. What we've told is only part of the Painted Lady story. When the dry season comes to the savannah, the next generations will head back to Europe, doing what Vanessa did, but in reverse. So next summer, Vanessa's great-granddaughter will be back in Europe. Next time you see a Painted Lady flapping around your garden, pause to wonder at what you're looking at. Admire this brave traveler. Marvel at its incredible migration and enjoy its colors. The yellow of the desert sand, the ochre of tropical Africa, the white of the snowy peaks. And if you look extra carefully on the underside of the wings, you will see specks of the blue sparkle of the Mediterranean Sea.